Hello all. In this video, I'll be showing you how I've put the Centec Quick Click Dust Extractor Adapter Set to use, as well as a quick look at a universal reusable extractor bag and a Y host splitter I've been using. So, just have a look at this. This tiny little 2.5 by 5 meter single garage has gone from just being a place to store my tools for work to being a semi functioning workshop where I'm attempting to create a furniture range. I just about have room to walk around and between all the kit but that gets increasingly difficult the more work I have on the go. Everything is on wheels which helps, all except that big black locker which I want to get rid of at some point and make another bench in its place. It's a rented space this, so I can't commit to having too much on the walls by way of units and shelves. Thankfully I have that door at the back right which leads to a cupboard under stairs for storing my timber. Much as this sounds like it's shaping up to be some sort of workshop tool, it isn't. I'm showing you this as, since I set it up, I've been struggling with general dust collection which, as I'm sure many of you will appreciate, can get out of control really quickly in a tight space. I've probably been spending a quarter of my time in here vacuuming. You can see I have a chip extractor tucked away back left for the planar thicknesser, and only for that so as not to contaminate the chips which go to an acquaintance with animals. All other extraction in here is taken care of by this old Bosch vac, a modified gas 20L. From there, the 3 meter hose can service the table saw, the router table and workbench, the miter saw and the band saw. The Bosch vac, like most trade type vacs, did come with a power tool adapter but didn't really fit my router table hose well, nor the table and band saws. I shot a few questions about hose sizes and whatnot over to Lewis at CTS, or Central Technology Systems, Centec for short, on Instagram and besides being really patient and helpful, once he realised I was a tuber, no I didn't mention it, he kindly sent me one of their adapter sets and some hose. A bit of a perk of this YouTube grift. Not a new product, or the first time many of you will have seen it mentioned by a YouTuber, I'm sure. But having been using it a few weeks now, I thought I'd share with you how I put the set to use of my kit and how it's been working out. As ever, this isn't a pay promotion, nor was there any requirement to say nice things about the kit I was sent. Hopefully though, showing how I've been using the kit might prove useful for any of you with one vac servicing a number of machines and tools, especially if you're in a tight space. So this is the set I got. It features what they call the quick click adapter, allowing you to swiftly change between the various sizes of power tool adapters. This set comes with five adapters of different sizes, though the two larger are the same, and three meters of hose, all for about 50 pound. I'll link in the description if you're interested in actual dimensions of the adapters in the set, but as you can see, they're all rubber ended, have full rotation, and the little hole you can open or close for airflow. A couple of the bits I show here were actually attached to the hose to plug into the vac, but as you'll see in a bit, I split the hose to use with a Y connector for the table saw. The hose and connectors are the pretty standard 32mm internal diameter, around 38 external I think, common to many shop and commercial vacs, identical to my Bosch one as it happens. Both the quick connector and vac connector have opposite thread to screw on or off to the hoses. I actually forked out the princely sum of £5.45 for an extra quick connector to attach to my Bosch hose. The standard power tool adapter you get in the set is the same as any other you'll find on these type of vacs. As you'd expect, fits all manner of power tools either inside or out. This is my old Bosch adapter. Technically it too was a sort of quick connector, just not all that quick. The newer, more expensive Bosch Gas 35 vac I had, had a pretty much identical adapter as this quick click. I don't have it to check now, but I'm sure you could fit these Centec adapters straight to the newer Bosch hoses. One difference I noticed from my Bosch hose adapters is the rubber is a bit softer than on the Centec. Not sure if that's a good thing or bad, but nonetheless, after around 7 years of abuse, this Bosch one has some splits, so the replacements come at a good time. Also worth pointing out that although the newer Bosch hoses use the same quick connect system, they don't offer a range of adapters, just the standard adapter. Before I get into how I'm using these around the shop, a quick look at a couple of other complementary purchases. As I said, I split the hose so I can have above and below extraction on my table saw. Now CTS or Centec don't do a wide splitter as yet, but I did find a 3D printer guy on eBay, as ever, who makes them. Mine here is 32mm outside diameter each end to fit inside the hose, but I believe the seller will cater for different or custom sizes. Centex medium adapter in the set seats nicely to attach the hose from the vac. Now why keep this vac over the, on paper, much better Gas 35? Well, the incessant M-Class beeping drove me nuts, plus I doctored this little one so much that I don't think I could resell it. 
It's a reliable workhorse though, but it has a couple of annoying negatives. The first is it's about 30 quid for five bags. An absolute joke. Especially as, onto the second gripe, these type of vacs with the cylinder rather than the flat cassette type filter only allow for, at best, half filling a bag. A good bag is important to keep the airflow without clogging the filters. Recently, on eBay again, I found a guy selling universal reusable filter bags. £21 with free postage, so I figured even if it only lasts five empties, it saved me money. It's done many more than that at the time of doing this vid, so jobs are good. They do come from Poland though, so it may take a week or so to arrive to the UK, but I didn't get any tax or duty surprises. The bag's made from heavy filter type material and has a sort of tough ripstop nylon collar which slides on the inlet which you tighten with a Jubilee clip. Bit of a pain having to do and undo the Jubilee clip every empty, but it works, saves me money and ensures good airflow through the vac all the time. The bottom of the bag has a decent heavy duty zipper with a flap inside to sort of seal the bag. I've really been getting on with it I have to say, but it is a bit big for this vac though. Better suited to a 30 or 40 litre vac really, but you know, it's cloth, just stuff it in. Just as a heads up, the vac end of the Centec hose is 58mm I think, and as you can see, would have popped straight into the Bosch vac. Within the next year, I'd love to get a decent cabinet saw or compact panel saw. But in the meantime, it's making the best of this table saw I built. It works great to be honest, plenty of grunt from that old Mafel KSP85, but dust extraction was just a hose in its standard extractor port. This doesn't work well at all upside down, so I made this cover box for it. From the top there, you can see the front cover for it as those bristles to allow the motor to move up and down. I don't bevel the saw by the way. It will, but it's a pain, so I don't. Around the back of the cover box, you can see the Centec adapter already in place. This is its home. If I'm not using the crown guard with the Centec thing on my Bosch hose, I can plug it straight into the box. If I wanna use the crown guard, which you'll see in a minute, I plug in the silver hose, which has the Y splitter then use the medium Centec adapter to go from the vac to the Y splitter. Centec standard power tool adapter is a much better sealing fit in the hoses for my router table than the Bosch, which is weird as this is a Bosch hose set for the table saws. As mentioned earlier, Bosch use an almost identical system as Centec on their hoses and as such, the Centec will clip straight into the back of the Bosch miter saw, no adapter needed. Saves a bit of room around the back too, which is nice. Finally, in the bandsaw, I used a straight connector that was for the vac end of the Centec hose with the smallest power tool adapter and this, like on the table saw, now just lives here. Some of you will know I love a bit of a tinker with aluminium profile. My most recent such endeavour is this crown guard to try and help with up top extraction on the table saw all fully adjustable with thumb screws and quick release to the fence. The Mafel crown guard I bought from their Erica table saw spare parts list. Sits atop a Mafel saw, so be rude not to. The box below and the crown guard work surprisingly well on the table saw. I still get a puff of dust when I finish the cut above the saw, but nothing remotely like the mess it used to create. Same goes for below too. The winding handle for the height adjustment is under the dust cover box and some dust does escape from the hole in the box for it, but again, nothing like the mess this table saw did create, night and day in fact. So the Centec adapter set has made all this much easier. Previously, just due to my standard Bosch adapter just being ill-fitting or just plain not fitting some of these machines, I tended to just pop a mask on and forego trying to attach the extractor. This setup now, I know is nothing special, but it has solved a few problems making attaching the vac much easier, which means I'm actually doing it, which in turn means I'm spending less time vacuuming after each operation, better all round. So this set has really worked for me in that respect. I'll put in the description links to the Centec kit, the reusable universal bag and Y splitter. I also have a discount code I can share with you below for Centec too. So be sure to use that if you're planning on getting any bits from them and maybe save yourself a few quid. So don't think there's anything else to say really, except if you've made it this far, thanks for watching.